Hi, this is Kurt Doolittle, and today I thought I'd talk a little bit about the left's parasitism. The reason is that God Saad has put out a new book called The Parasitic Mind. I have a, just as a confession, I have a, an entirely appropriate man crush on Saad because his he sort of practices masculinity as an art form, and it's his art form is particularly suited to intellectuals, and he's a master of it, so I sort of uh, have a man crush on this guy. He's just, uh, you can, when you can be masculine and a master communicator and intellectual in your field, that's just something I uh, admire a great deal. Anyway, uh, in his use of uh, the analogy of parasitism, well, it, it's correct, you know, and he takes the example of zombie fungus, uh, you know, but, you know, when taking that example, it's an intuitionistic organism, a wasp, and where a, an ant needs a biochemical or neurological reorganization because it's not conscious, it can't choose. So, But humans are conscious, meaning we're self-auditing and self-monitoring, and we can choose. And so we have to achieve the same neurological reorganization by informational incentives. So we adapt by information more so than evolutionary or biological mutation. And that's why we're hyper adaptive to the laws of the universe. That's what it means to be an intelligent species, to adapt quickly by information and cognitive change rather than slowly by mere biological evolution. But a parasitic biochemical process or parasitic informational process, well, it's marginally indifferent. Both produce informational changes to the underlying organism, the uh, organization of the life form's behavior. So when we talk about left, yes, the left is parasitic and dev devolutionary, and all leftism consists of continuous deception, lying, producing social construction, in other words, creating a, an, an environment of disinformation, to claim European civilization is oppressive for our discovery, adaptation to, and application of the laws of the universe, Despite the, the entire reason for European asymmetric success and turning the universe to our advantage, well, it's due to our discovery, adaptation, and application of those laws. And we pay that adaptation and the cost of reproductive, psychological, and emotional discipline necessary to do so. And that results largely in persisting those logical, meaning formal, physical, behavioral, meaning cooperative, and evolutionary, meaning natural selection laws of the universe, and converting the gains for having done so into superior demographic distributions with lower rates of genetic load, higher uh, cooperative incentives, lower clannishness, lower aggression, lower crime, higher trust, and higher economic, social, and evolutionary velocity. So we have to spend less time policing our environment because we're more adapted to it. So yes, the left is parasitic. Equality in the absence of demonstrated merit, meaning evolutionary fitness, is a claim on those who do demonstrate merit in the current state of informational, technological, economic, social, political, military, and strategic market conditions, in other words, in the present context. The entire purpose of the left is to use the temporary windfall of the Industrial Revolution to claim that we're no longer bound by Maxwell and, Marth and Malthus, mean physical limitations, Menger and Spencer, meaning social limitations, Gobineau and Darwin, meaning evolutionary laws, and the necessity of heroism, such as Nietzsche, and the exhaustion of kinship love in Christianity to suffer the tragedy, again Nietzsche, of it. The entire pseudoscientific movement of the left, whether Bose, Freud, or Gould's behavioral pseudoscience, the Marxists, I mean, Marx, Lenin, Trotsky, et al., every, there's so many of them, their social and economic pseudoscience, the neo-Marxists, uh, the Frankfurt School's anti-cultural pseudoscience, the postmodernists' sophistry by their anti-truth and reason, Steinem and Company's anti-family, anti-male feminist, and the subsequent PC woke social deconstruction of truth and anti-colonialism, meaning in their anti-industrialization, their anti-us dragging mankind out of ignorance and poverty. 
They're anti-whiteness, where whiteness is just science and testimonial truth. They're anti-white, white replacement, white genocide. And it's just an inversion of religion. All of that's an inversion of religion. So instead of anthropomorphizing the universe in the love and respect and obedience to a god, the left's pseudoscientific thought is a reversal and anthropomorphism by attacking Western people, their knowledge, their cultural institutions, their formal institutions, their entire civilization, and their race as a proxy for hating the laws of nature and nature's God, and from which all the benefits of Western civilization have fallen. They hate European civilization as a proxy for hating the universe. And if there is one, hating God for the long history of poor decisions by themselves and their ancestors. And instead of continuing our tradition of conformity to those laws, through integration and discipline, and the exhaustion of Christian love to tolerate our position in that evolutionary series, they think they can cheat Mother Nature in doing so. They're bringing about the third dark age using the same technique that brought about the second the false promise of freedom from those laws. So yes, the left is parasitic. It's Kurt Doolittle for the Propertarian Institute. Thank you for listening.